Hello everyone, Nate here, back again with another video and today I'm going to tell you why I went full stock on my Samsung Galaxy S7. So first of all let me go to software info and show you that I'm running the stock firmware, as you can see Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience version probably 8.0, it is not even listed over here unlike the next versions of uh, the Samsung Experience. So the Android security patch is the 1st of December. And this is the latest update for my device, as you can see over here. So let it uh, just a second to check this out. So you can see that I'm running DQLC, which is the latest version right now for this device. So the pros and cons of uh, me doing this, going back to full stock, there are a couple pros and for example, battery life for me has been very good. I've been getting easily throughout the day I have more than 25, 26 hours of usage with no problem, <clears throat> sorry. And as you can see, I've been running this device for almost 12 hours. With 45 minutes of screen on time, I have 80% of battery left and I've been doing real racing for 22 minutes. And while talking about real racing, on custom ROMs I had heating issues with my device. So for example, while I was playing real racing, my phone gets uh, a lot hotter than uh, it is getting with the stock firmware which is uh, something really uh, really nice standby standby uh, battery drain has been also very good so i get two percent of battery drain for like nine or ten hours of sleep which is uh, for me really good for my uh, for the level of my battery wear which is uh, my battery is already at 70 percent of its capacity which is uh, really bad for me but two percent is a really good probably you get something like zero or one percent the thing that I don't like about uh, going back to stock is, for example, uh, I can't use S Health, so let me just enable this thing over here. So it says that I can't use it because of uh, a new security policy, you can see over here. And uh, I tried disabling it and installing a previous version, but uh, I just can't do that. So for example, if you can completely uninstall this without root, you can go to version 4.8 and then log in because on this APK the uh, security policy is not over there and then you can uh, use S-Health uh, normally and also some things that I don't like is for example I cannot uninstall Samsung Connect so you can see that there is not such an option but I can uninstall Play Store which is something really interesting so uh, yes so far it has been uh, perfect the device is running very good and as you know the Samsung Galaxy S8 is right now on its fifth beta of Android 8.0 and the last beta brought up only bug fixes and a spokesperson for the company said that the update will come in late January and uh, probably I believe that it will take them something something like a month to bring this update to the S7 so probably I'll try to stay with stock firmware for the next two months until I get the official Android 8.0 update. So, uh, so far I can say that stock firmware is not that bad. The only things I'm really missing are the iOS emojis. So for example, you can see that when I go to the keyboard, I have these emojis, which I don't really like. I like more the iOS ones. And also that I have, don't have the dual speaker mode so that I have this speaker over here and this one on the top. and. Uh, play them uh, while playing YouTube videos for example, it gives you a really good surround sound. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, if any big update to the S8 or the Note 8 port comes out, I'll make a video about it, I'll go to this port, but probably I'll try to stay with stock for the rest of this Android 7.0 lifespan. So thank you for watching, tell me what's your opinion and if you have tried it already and uh, I'll see you soon, peace.